おはようございます。Today I'm going to show you my morning routine. We are a family of four having two kids living in Tokyo, Japan. A clean countertop always motivates me to get ready for the day. I try to tidy up the night before as much as possible. Cook rice and boil water. Then go to the bathroom and brush my teeth. It was too fearful to see my face on the screen without makeup on, so I decided not to include my face for the sake of viewers' pleasant experience. I've been wearing this pajama for more than probably three to four years. It's getting pretty chubby, so I need to sew this pocket. I don't use any facial cleanser in the morning just because I'm lazy and my skin is pretty dry. Back to living room, do morning yoga for 15 minutes. This is the only time that I can dedicate to myself. I don't mind waking up early for the precious moment. By the time the water will be nice and warm. Before kids wake up, let's make some breakfast and bento box. I already showed this kimpira in previous what I eat in the day video. Carrot, burdock, broccoli stem, and soybeans cooked in soy sauce and marine. It doubles as a meal prep. To be honest, I don't have much variety on my bento box. What do you guys pack for your bento box? My kids are awake. My younger one needs a cuddle every morning. He is already three years old, but still a mommy's boy for most of the time. When he calms down, go back to the kitchen and prepare breakfast. I prepared almost everything the night before. All I have to do is warm up and nicely decorate them on the plate. I have a miso soup, nikujaga, and spinach salad. Everything I'm showing here has a recipe, so please check out the link on the description box below. Sprinkle some burrito flake powder on top of the spinach. It is packed with the umami flavor. I love it so much. I have a shop link in the description box below in case you want one for yourself. On the rice, pickle plum for my husband and salmon chunk for my kids. While they are eating, I'm gonna finish up the kids' bento box. Because I make a bento box every day, so I need a little shortcut. So I use this frozen item almost every day. It's defrosted in the room temperature, so by the time my kids open the bento box in the lunchtime, it'll be ready to eat.
My son loves Pokemon. Pokemon started the series on TV when I was little, so it's nice to share something nostalgic with my kids. Usually not so peaceful in the morning, always some kind of drama happening with kids. I was told not to leave even one single rice grain on your bowl. We have to respect the person who made the rice for us. Japanese also believe everything has a spirit, so we have to show the appreciation even for just the tiny things. My mom always said, Motainai means don't waste the food. Change clothes, apply some moisturizer, and I'm still in the chubby pajama. <laughs> It's my husband's job to fold the laundry. We team up and run the ship without telling anything to each other. Almost time to go. Kids require to wear the mask in school. Time to clean up everything. My hands tend to get dry, so whenever I remember, I apply some cream, then wear gloves when I do dishes. I use baby oil in case I need to touch my kids. I spilled miso soup, so I changed my clothes. I'm gonna make some veggie curry for the dinner. I love cooking, but I hate doing dishes. So to be more efficient in the kitchen, I do most of my housework in the morning. I link the curry recipe in the description box below. This is my kids' favorite and it's really easy to make. Prepare breakfast for myself. Usually just leftovers. And I love to add the Amani oil into my natto. It's high in omega-3 fat. Finally, time to eat. I got bowl of rice, miso soup, natto, and some leftovers. And I also had another bowl of rice. I eat a lot in the morning. There was a time that I didn't eat much rice or any type of carbs. It causes me bench eating during that day. So since then, I focus more on what I eat to satisfy myself. I have a question. When you are working from home and you won't see anyone, what do you wear in the house? I had a soy latte with the cinnamon powder on top after the breakfast. I think that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe and like. It always means a lot when you do. Matane, bye bye.